I have this question that when I'm following your tutorials, I understand everything that how you are building the logic and I can easily be able to follow it, that what packages we are utilizing, how things are coming together. But when I sit and try to write something from my own, I get confused. I don't get idea that what should I include, how I can design the smart contract and how I can bring different functionality to the DAP, to the smart contract. So the first thing I want to say that it's absolutely normal. Every single developer has to go through this. No one born genius and they know everything from the very start. The more you will work in the industry, the different problems you will encounter, the different scenario you will encounter. There you will build your understanding that how things coming together. So it's absolutely normal. Don't feel bad for yourself that you're not understanding. You are understanding, but it takes time. It takes time. So the one suggestion I want to give you that whenever you are following any tutorial and you are following step by step, just complete the project. After that, I want you to give one or two days, sit with the code and try to understand that why he built that particular logic, what that variable is doing there, how we can replace because same function can be written in hundreds of way. You can write the same function in multiple way. So why don't you give that try? When you will give that try, it will increase your understanding that how this logics come into the picture, how we are embedding that into the contract. That's what I would suggest to you that if you really want to increase your understanding, then give some time, spend some time, just open the code, have a look and try to understand that what exactly happening. It's not always that you have to code if you really want to learn. Sometime you will look at the code and you will understand everything. I do research all the time. Whenever I want to build something, I don't start building straight away. I need to have an idea that what exactly I'm building. For example, that if I want to build a decentralized payment gateway, right now we have multiple payment gateway like Stripe, Razor Pay, Google Pay, all of these are payment gateway. So I want to build a similar type of payment gateway in a decentralized ecosystem. How I can do that? So first thing what I will do, I'll try to analyze that how these stripes exactly work, how this PayPal work, how they can upgrade their user, how they fulfill the KYC. So that's all thing I will try to understand. I will understand the entire process of the centralized system in terms of Stripe and PayPal. Once I understand that, and the same thing I'm going to replicate on the decentralized ecosystem. I'm not going to invent anything. If I want to build something, I will find similar project is already there. All I have to do is to find it and understand it and that what I have to code in the project. So always try to think that what exactly you want to build. Try to do a little bit of research. Try to find out the existing code base. If you have any code base, simply download it and implement in the project. In that way, you have to develop fast. It's not necessary that you have to code every single thing from scratch. This is the problem I had when I was learning JavaScript. At that time, what I was trying to do is I was trying to create everything from scratch. And then I was spending a lot of time writing the same derivative function. I know what I'm doing, but I was writing it to keep myself satisfied that I know JavaScript. And that's totally waste of time. You have to be a smart developer. First, you have to lay out the entire architecture that what exactly you want. If you want to build a payment gateway, what are the things you need to have in that? Have a system where user can register themselves. You can have a system where you can allow user to verify their documentation. You can have a system where you can do the KYC. You can take the bank details and connect with the payment provider. Or you can also have a system where you can simply convert the digital amount into a native currency and transfer to the bank system. So that's how you can lay down the entire architecture. Think about the idea you have about the project and try to write it down. Write it down in normal English language before you start coding. And when you will sit for the coding, you will already have the idea that what are the things you want to include in the project and simply you have to code it. And if you really want to code it, you have to be good in the language. So I would suggest you that focus on the programming language, be good in that, automatically things will come together. You don't need to be confused, don't get yourself demotivated that I'm not learning. You are learning, it's part of your learning. Everybody has to go through this. No one born genius, everybody has to give some time. The more project you will build, the more situation you will involve yourself, the more ideas you will get. That's the one thing I would suggest to you. When I started learning, I was building normal project, but the more I started working in the industry, different clients, different requirements, and I started implementing all of that together, that's how I build my understanding. I believe you can hear the noise at the background, just ignore that if it's bothering you, and I'm sorry for that. So that's how you have to learn. That's how you have to focus in your learning and build project. The more project you will build, the better idea you will have that what exactly you are doing. And that way you will get confident and once you will have the confidence, once you will get the familiarity with the code structure and the smart contract, it becomes very easy and piece of cake for you. You will have any project idea in your head. You can easily structure the entire functionality of the smart contract very easily. But that will take time. The more experience you will get, the more project you will build, it will come automatically. So don't be confused. Don't be sad. Just focus on your learning. Whatever you are building, just give some time and try to understand that how we have designed it and try to add one more feature or try to add different functionality to include the same feature. Okay, whatever function we have written, try to write in a different way. There you will use your brain and understand. So that's the one thing I would suggest to you. I hope you have got your answer. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.